Welcome to Wonder Dad Gaming. I am your host, Lemon76. Today we are going to be going over the difference between Stadia Premium and Amazon's new cloud service, uh, Luna. Um, we're going to be going over hardware. We're going to be going over the pricing and stuff like that. And we're going to be going over like what each library offers. And we basically we're going to break down, show what each one of these offers in different ways um, and all that stuff. And we're also going to compare them to these controllers here for hardware-wise. So everyone knows about Google a lot. Well, not everybody knows, but a lot of people know about Google Stadia. It's been around for a little while. Um, I got this sent to me from Google. Um, there was a promotion deal that I got, so I got it for free. But the nice thing is I was able to really get some good time with this and review it. I've had this for a few months now, um, so I've tried it. Um, it's Google. I uh, actually use the Stadia Pro. So I actually was able to like try out the libraries, the free games, things like that. I've tried it on a phone, PC. Um, I also tried this on a... It comes with a Chromecast. So I've tried all different features, uh, wired, unwired, and all that stuff. So. And then, now this one, Amazon Luna... This one is pretty new to the market. Um, I've actually, I was part of the original beta group that started this. Um, so I've actually been having this for, oh, about a month and a half. I think it was the beginning of December when I joined the program. So I've had some uh, decent time using this system. Um, so it's, it's pretty good. Um, but the only, the thing is right now, yes, you can jump on Stadia, get it right now and use it. Um, with Amazon Luna, you have to go to their page, um, request basically, uh, an access, an invite. And then about a week or so later, you'll actually get a invite and then you can join. So, well, okay. So let's go ahead and just start with hardware. What comes with what? Now, when you sign up for Luna, you don't get anything. You just get the access, which is six ninety nine a month, I believe. I'll have it down here if I'm incorrect, but I believe it's five ninety nine a month, so six bucks um, for uh, the start off. But it doesn't come with any hardware. Now I am going to compare the Stadia Premium, even though Stadia is free. It does have a free one. I'm going to compare this one because. When you get the paid service, you get free games. And this one, it's you pay for it. There is no free version of this. And you get the games. You get access to their library. It's kind of more closer to something like um, Xbox xCloud. So. so, starting with the hardware, the Google Stadia controller. So as you can see, it's very similar to something like a PlayStation controller with the uh, facing uh, analog sticks at the bottom, D-pad up here, buttons shoulder buttons up here and of course your analog triggers at the bottom you do have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so you could run a chat headset and also at the bottom right here a little little tiny hole this is actually a microphone because this does actually have a google assistant button now in the face you have the stadia button right here you have your pause and your menu button which is for you know your in-game stuff capture button um, which is becoming a very popular thing i mean the New Xbox controller has it, and the Luna controller does not have that. And there is an there is a Google Assistant button. Um, last I checked, this wasn't up and running yet, um, which I think is kind of funny because you think about how long Stadia has been around. You think they would have got that one up and running by now, but I'll have to double check. But as I when I tried it a couple of days ago, it was not working. So now feel in the hand. Um, it's actually pretty weighty. It's comparable to something like the Nintendo uh, Switch Pro controller has about the same weight it does have an internal battery and a type c charger so it feels nice now me personally i prefer the offset stick something like one of these guys but this one is actually pretty comfortable um probably because it's a little wider than the playstation controller um the analog stick very clicky if you can hear that um the face buttons are really nice they have a nice feel like i said this has some really good weight um like i said it weighs pretty good internal battery um, pretty simple. It does come in a couple different colors. I have the clearly white. I believe there's a black one too. Um, so that's that controller. Let's move over to the Luna controller. Now this has more of an Xbox feel. Actually, when you put it right next to a Series X controller, they're almost identical. Um, there's not much of a difference. Um, even placement of the Type-C charging port. Now the interesting thing about the Luna controller, which actually shares some similarities with the Xbox controller, 
is, I'll open it up, it takes two AA batteries, unlike the Stadia controller with a built-in rechargeable battery. So they took a little bit more, like, uh, the one, they went more the way of the Xbox controller, because of course the, new, the Series X controller, which some people complained about. Now this one does have a battery pack in it, which I have installed everywhere, but um, it would come with normally with two AA batteries. So this one does come when you buy the controller, and like I said, you buy this separate. Which, because this, uh, now this controller is $50 for the controller. Um, it connects very similar to this one through the Wi-Fi, but it does have a Bluetooth mode, and I believe this one has a Bluetooth mode as well. So, but let's just go over, like, the hardware features. So, like I said, it has the same, has that matte black color. It does have textured grips right here. Um, it does have analog triggers. They don't have a very long throw. It's pretty short, especially when you compare it to the Stadia controller, which I feel has a very long throw. Um, clicky shoulder buttons. Um, it doesn't have the same weight as the Stadia controller. I feel this is much lighter. Um, if I actually had to say, like, the feel of each controller in my hand, I would actually say the Stadia feels a little bit better. It feels a little more premium. This feels a little cheaper. I mean, it doesn't feel like, say, the knockoff, you know, $20 um, Bluetooth controllers you can buy on Amazon or anything like that. It feels a little more premium than that, but it doesn't feel as good as, like, I don't know, as nice as the Stadia controller, but that's just personal opinion. Um, the face buttons are nice. I feel the D-pad, though. Like, I didn't used to be kind of a snob of the D-pad, but I don't know, ever since I got into reviewing tech and stuff, I kind of have been a little bit. Um, it's kind of mushy, uh, especially when you compare it to Something like Nintendo controller. This is a very nice clicky D-pad, which I really like, actually. And, of course, the new Xbox controller has a very clicky D-pad. This is kind of mushy. This kind of reminds me of the older Xbox controller. Which actually, I do have one right here. Ah, here it is. This is the Titanfall Special Edition controller. And, eh, maybe not as... No, this one isn't as much. This is still a little clicky, but... Um, like I said, the state, this the Luna controller has a bit of a kind of a little bit mushier feel. But anyways, let's go on what's actually on it. So you got the offset sticks, and of course the purple because you know Amazon. You have the Alexa button right here. Uh oh, I'm activating my speaker. <laughs> um, right there, so you can activate her while you're in game to do whatever you want to do. Um, you got your pause and your start, or your start and your menu, and of course you have your middle power button, which is also kind of like the home button, the stadia button on this one. Um, other than that, um, there's not too much to the controller. There's not like, there's no capture button on this one. There's none of that. Um, it does have, of course, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right there at the bottom. So just like this one, so you can plug in a headset, and it does have a microphone here at the top. So when you want to use the Alexa. It will activate. I know every time I say that. Hmm, I don't know that one. See, that's the trouble about having one of these when you're trying to do videos about this stuff. <laughs> Anyways, continuing on. Um, so that's pretty much the difference to the hardware. Like I said, it's very similar to an Xbox controller. And this one's kind of like on its own. It's a little bit more close to a PlayStation controller. But I feel it's like a little heavier, a little um, sturdier. Well, that's a pretty much the difference between the hardware. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump into each interface and we're gonna show you what Stadia offers you and what Luna offers you. Now, as these two set right now, if you wanted to go with the, as the recording of this video anyways, um, if you wanna go with Google Stadia Premiere, with comes with the controller and it also comes with a Chromecast Ultra, which does do 4K, um, you're looking at $100. For that setup right there right out of the box 100 bucks so it's a little bit a little pricey i mean for i mean but i mean i won't lie the stuff you get is is nice it's in good shape um but a little pricey now for the luna um as it's as you start off like i said um for the hardware really all you really truly need is either a pc a phone um, if you have a fire stick, that'll work too. Um, those are your hardware. So you don't have to, if you already have that stuff, you can just use it. Um, and you can use a Bluetooth controller if you say you have a fire stick 
you can just use like say an Xbox controller if you got one of those just Bluetooth it to the fire stick and you can use it but if you actually want their actual um, proprietary controller um, this will cost you $50 so basically in a way it, this is like half the price of this and also the monthly subscription Stadia is $10 a month where um, Luna you're looking at, like I said, I believe it's $5.99, but like I said, if I'm not, I'm going to put it right down here, what the correct price is. Um, so it's about half the price of the Stadia. So the question is, which one is the better deal? Because that's really what, I mean, this is what this is all boiling down to. Now, of course, with Stadia, you can buy the game and keep the game on Stadia, but only in Stadia, where Luna, you go into a subscription service and then you get to play their games that they offer like i said similar to xbox x cloud which i have done review i've done videos and they're in my playlist below so let's go ahead and dive into the uh program so we know we i can show you what these two offer and also i will show you what they're available on like what platforms you can play these on so we're let's gonna get to go it. ahead and go into what you actually see on their website and of course we're going to go over like the pricing and all that stuff of Stadia versus Luna. Now, in my previous section, um, I actually did find out that you can get the Ubisoft Connect Plus, which is on Luna, which is advertised mainly on Luna. You can also get that on Stadia too. So, so if you were interested in getting something like getting the the um, Ubisoft Connect uh, add-on, uh, I would say Luna's still your better bet because it's only. Five ninety nine a month compared to nine ninety nine a month, so you actually get a little bit of savings. So, let's go ahead and dive into this uh, to the site. So, when you come in, um, this is what you're gonna see. You know, Stadia Premium Edition, ninety nine dollars. Um, it gives you one month free of uh, Stadia Pro, which is after that it's nine ninety nine a month, but it does include games every month. So. so, this is what you're gonna get when you go to this, and of course you can go close to the buy. And this is, like I said, now the Premium Edition does come with this controller right here. And it does come with um, a Chromecast Ultra. So, basically everything you need to get up and running. Now, when you break it down and look at the pricing of, say, the Luna versus the, uh, State, the Stadia Pro Edition. Because Luna, this is 50 bucks. And if you want to get, say, just a regular, if you do not already have a Fire Stick and you want to go out and buy one, the f new Fire Stick 4K, last I checked, was around $50, $45 to $50. So, in a way, you're kind of paying almost the same price, uh, for hardware-wise, anyways. So, but I feel that you can do a lot more with... Um, the Fire Stick than you can with a Chromecast. Um, I know Google TV, the new, basically new Chromecast thing they got out now, Cast TV, I think they call it, or maybe Google TV. I think it's Google TV. Um, that one doesn't support Stadia yet. It's going to, but it doesn't do right now. So, so I feel that with the Amazon Fire Stick, you get a little bit more out of it, but, I mean, each is to their own who they want. So, um, like I said, this is the website for the Stadia very straightforward simple um as you can see now i have of course have the clearly white edition um they have the just black and then they have the wasabi which is basically um like under here is the orange they're the green so now someone did tell me that that's a little off white instead of regular white but i have not seen one in person so i don't know so and of course you can click games um and it shows like these are all the games that you can buy on um, Google Stadia. Now, of course, like we said, when you buy them, you're paying full price for the game. And you only get the game on here, on Stadia. You don't get to have it on your PC or something like that. So, you just, it kind of makes you wonder, like, because Google, unfortunately, is known for um, getting rid of some of their, um, basically, um, their programs and things like that so it kind of makes you wonder like you know how long is this gonna last do i really want to pay full price for that where something like luna with the pay monthly and you get a array of games is you don't own those games so you may not feel so bad when um 
if they close it down, you're like, well, I didn't buy them anyways, and now I have nothing. So, but these are a handful of games that you can get. Um, some good ones, Doom, Doom Eternal, uh, Enter the Gungeon. Actually, that's a really good game. I like that one a lot. Um, but I play that one on Switch. Grid. Um, so, these are a selection of games that you can buy from them. Now, there are some games that are included with, um, like, Outcasters. That one's actually um, on their... If you got the Pro Edition, that's a free game right now. So there is some games in here that are free with your Premium Edition, which we'll uh, jump to here in a second. I'll actually show you what is available in the free section. So, that, like I said, that's the kind of their sales page. Now we'll actually go to the actual page when you want to play Stadia. So we'll click on that, and boom, here you go. Now, of course, I do have it cropped a little bit. Um, at the top, it says Home and Store. Um, so these are games that you can play in your library. Uh, these are all the games I currently have in the library. And the only reason I have I haven't bought these games. These are just included with the pro membership. So I figured, hey, if they're if I can get them for uh, free, you know, why not get them? So as you can see, there is a wide range of games um, that are pretty good. I mean, you got Dead by Daylight, uh, Player um, PUBG. I mean, that's a good one. Super Hot, Sniper Elite, Guilt, Destiny. And there's two versions of Super Hot. So I'll show you guys how we get into this real quick. Okay, let's go ahead and click. Let's go with PUBG. But real quick, um, before I do that, I'll show you actually how to link your controller. So you're gonna hit the. You're gonna start this thing up like that. And in the corner here, there's a controller button. Now I know you guys can't see it because. I have it cropped a certain way, but you click on it, it'll bring up, now you can, I know you can see this. Um, this is the sequence you have to hit, so you're going to hit up, Y, down, A, and that now connect to the controller, Stadia controller. So it's going to do that, up, Y, down, A, and we're connected. Easy. So that's how you connect a controller. And once it's connected, <clears throat> you can play your games and stuff, all, all that fun stuff. Just like that. Okay. See out. We're going to go ahead and click on... Okay, it didn't link that time. <laughs> Gotta love technical issues. Up, Y, down, A. Okay, there it goes. When it gets, when it does connect, it'll vibrate twice, and <clears throat> the Stadia button will stay a solid color. So, we are now connected. But of course, you can also just connect this via USB-C to your PC. Now I know um, we're gonna click Outcasters because so what you do is you'll click on the game, and of course make sure your controller's on. There it goes. It will go to sleep if you're not using it. And you click this play button. And boom. You'll be entered in the game. And it's, like I said, it's pretty straightforward, simple. Um, now, of course, this is on a wired connection. But I have tried this with the Chromecast using my internet. Um, just my regular Wi-Fi. And it works really well. Um, I have a um, 50 upload. And a, downloads per second speed. and I have been able to play this very easily um, without much of an issue um, now of course this is all dependent on your internet if you have good internet it'll work great if you have better internet it won't work at all so you do have to weigh those options too so but that's this is how what it's gonna look like when, <clears throat> excuse me when you jump in and that's it so and then you would just go through and play. So now let's go ahead and move on to. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move on to. Once it lets me here. Hold, exit. When you hold the escape, it will let you do this. And you escape out. How was your session? It was fine. It does that about every time. Um, when you're doing it. Now we'll click store real fast just to show you guys what the store looks like. I know this is gonna take a little bit of time, but I wanted to show you guys everything so you know what you're jumping into. So, of course, they have sales going on. Red Dead Redemption, Enter the Gungeon. Um, so, and they also go over the new releases and things like that. So, 
But I also, like I said, I did find out that um, uh, the now there are pro deals, kind of like uh, Xbox games, uh, their gold edition. They do have like the gold sales, so they have the pro sales here too. But like I said, the Ubisoft Connect um, feature that is really heavily advertised on Luna is available on Stadia as well. So, okay, let's go ahead and go to the Luna real fast. And now we're done with Stadia. We're going to jump over to Luna. So this is Luna's page. So when you look up Luna, this is what you're going to find. Now, normally when you first come onto this page where it says play on Luna, you're actually going to say it says sign up and you'll click it, um, enter your information, and then in about a week or so, that's when you'll probably get a um, an email stating, hey, you, if you want to get in, you can. Um, unfortunately, that is the one thing about Luna. It's technically still in a beta, so it takes a little bit of time to get started on it. You can't just jump in like Stadia can. Uh, Luna takes a little bit more time. So um, this is the page. It goes over a lot of the games that are already in. And if you notice, actually, there's quite a bit... Quite a few games on here that are also on Stadia's Pro Edition. So if you just want to go price per price, this is cheaper. I mean, this is only five ninety nine, and you get all these games. And you don't have to pay for the games, and so, like I said, in the long run, Luna is a cheaper option. Um, now I have found that they almost play identical, like um, play wise. Um, I've put quite a bit of time in um, what is it, Phoenix Uprising. Uh, through Luna, through the Ubisoft Plus, and yeah, it works great. I haven't had any issues. And I also have it on PC, too, and I've compared the two together. Um, the clarity, of course, is better on my PC, just because it's my dedicated PC. But um, it actually looks really good on streaming, too. So, anyway, let's get down to the actual brass tacks about all this, the pricing. So, you have two options when you sign up. You have the Luna Plus, which is $5.99 a month. And that includes all these games. Now, there are more, and there's more added all the time. Um, 1080, now, it'll be 1080p 60, unlike Stadia Pro, which allows uh, 4K 60. But they say 4K is coming. Now, stream on two devices at a time. That's kind of nice because you, that means you actually could have somebody playing on the TV and somebody playing on a phone at the same time under the same account. So you could actually get more play out of this than, say, on Stadia, which doesn't have that. And also, the big thing that Luna has over um, Stadia is the fact that you actually can play on Mac, and you can play on uh, iOS. So, iPad, iPhones, you will be able to play, unlike Stadia, which you can't do that right now, which is pretty nice. Now, me, I'm an Android user, so it doesn't matter to me, but for somebody who is many, many iPhone players who actually want a game on their phone, Luna is going to be the way you go. Because, like I said, Stadia isn't available yet. It is coming, but it's not out yet where Luna already is available. So if you are interested in cloud gaming, Luna is your best bet right now. So now here's the other option you have is Ubisoft Plus. Now this one has, of course, on the hour to play, 1080p 60, 4K coming. Now this can only stream on one device. You still play on the same things and all that stuff. Now what's nice about this, if you are somebody like myself who has a PC... You do have the download the PC version there, Ubisoft Connect app, and all the games that are on the Ubisoft Plus, you can download to your computer and play them on your computer. So, which I actually find kind of nice because I can go up into the living room, I can sit there and I can play um, Phoenix Upright or is it Phoenix Uprising? Yeah, the new one that just came out. It's actually uh, Immortal Phoenix Uprising, I believe. Yeah, that one's a lot of fun. It's a good game. If you like uh, Breath of the Wild, you'd like that game. Um, I'll go upstairs, I'll play it via the streaming through the My Fire TV, and, you know, play it for, for a couple hours, and then stop, and then I, when I'm down here, you know, and I'm between my editing sessions and video creation and streaming, I can go ahead and boot it up on my computer, and continue playing that same game because it uses cloud saves, which is really, really nice. Actually, I do like that a lot. So, that's another option you have if you have a dedicated PC. So, that's pretty much it. So, and of course it goes over the controller and it does have Twitch integration because of course, you know, Amazon owns Twitch. So, that is all there and then it costs talks about the and you got your frequently asked questions. So, we're going to go back up to the top. We're going to click play on Luna. Now, this is the Luna interface. So, this is when you come into the game, this is what you're going to see or when you, you know, become a part of the system, this is what you're going to see when you go on. Now, it's web-based it's not an app on your phone or on your computer it's actually you go to their website and you play it through your browser which is actually pretty nice 
means there's less things you got to download into your system. So we're going to click library. Now, of course, like I said, I already have the Ubisoft Plus in my account, so I will have more games than your standard uh, fair where you don't have the Ubisoft Plus. So, but things like Control, great game, Contra, Castlevania, Everspace, these games are going to be in the uh, 5 dollars edition. But, of course, you know, Far Cry and Immortals Phoenix Rising, you know, I think, I believe Scott Pilgrim vs. the World's on here. Boom, 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 Sonic Mania, Scott Pilgrim. I know it's in here. I played it the other day. Ah, oh, yeah, right there. Scott Pilgrim. Those are going to be, of course, on your Ubisoft. But, like, Resident Evil Biohazard, if you're into horror games, perfect game. I love that game. Uh, Red Out, decent racing game. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what this looks like. So, what you're going to do, very similar to Stadia, you know, we'll go uh, Contra. Can't go wrong with Contra. And you're going to click. Now, you can grab your controller. Turn on your controller. It'll vibrate and glow purple. And it's looking for you to play. Click play now. Now it'll take a second because it knows it'll what it does. So what it's doing is it's connecting into the Wi-Fi, and it's reading um, that if you're connected somewhere. So we just got to give it a second. It sometimes it takes a second to link in because, like I said, it has to go through your Wi-Fi. Now you can actually just play this. Um, you can connect the USB C because there's a USB C on top right into the controller, and it will actually link up into the um, system that way. Come on. <laughs> Of course, when I need for it to work right away, it doesn't want to work. Let me shut it off. It's probably still linked to my Fire TV upstairs. Let me a second here. We gotta remember, I am more of a lower budget uh, channel. Did it work that time? Come on, work for me. Settings. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll try, okay, we'll do a game that doesn't require a controller. But normally, yes, it connects. I've done it before. It works fine, of course. It's just when I'm trying to show you guys something here for the first time, of course, it's going to mess up. So we'll, we'll go with a game that's on here. Uh, I believe Grid doesn't require a controller. No, it doesn't. Cool. That makes it easy. Or did it connect? Nope, didn't connect. Watch it connect while I'm in the middle of this. Oh, see? Yeah, so if your controller's connected, you'll see this little prompt on the bottom. Of course it connects this, but it wouldn't connect on the other game. But when it's connected, it has this, I'll show you guys, that little purple right there at the top. It'll be right at the peak. And like I said, just like Stadia, you'll start it up. It'll go into this. It'll go into your start screen. Let's try to get into the game. And boom, we're up and running. You just play, play, no game save because I've never, never played this game. Create a save game. And there. Scroll down, all that fun stuff. Except. And that's it. So I'm not going to go bore you guys with trying to start the game, but as you can see here, it streams very, very well. Um, like I said, when you enter a game, it goes full screen. And. Like I said, the quality looks really nice. Now, of course, I'm playing on a 1080p panel, but it just, it looks really good. Um, and even when I play on my 70-inch uh, 4K TV upstairs, it does look really, really good. So, and just like with the other one, now you can also, you can either hold exit on this, but if you are on your Fire TV or something, you just hit the button, and it'll bring up the side panel, and you get to exit game, and you just exit. So, and of course, just like just like Stadia, it asks you, was there any issues? So, we're going to go to home. So, now we're on to final thoughts. So, in my opinion, which one should it get? Should it get Stadia or should it get Luna? Well, of course, there's always personal preference. Which one do you want? Um, if you want to look in the long run... I would say for price for price and stuff, I would say Luna is definitely going to be your cheaper option because um, it's only five ninety nine a month instead of nine ninety nine a month. 
and they're always going to be updating their library, adding new things, and stuff like that. So, hardware-wise, yeah, you're going to pay the same price if you don't have anything. If you don't have a Fire TV, you don't have a Chromecast or any of that. Yes, you're probably, we're going to say they pay the same price for hardware to get in. Now, I'm not saying you have to have that hardware. Um, because you can just have a PC and have a, say something like the series x controller which is bluetooth or you can wire it into your computer too and you can run it that way you don't have to have these controllers that's the nice thing about this you don't have to but you can but i'm comparing the premium editions just because of hardware reasons so luna in the long run will be cheaper and the nice thing is as long as they keep adding to the library and things like that it will make a very compelling option and also will be bring some really good competition to somebody like xCloud uh, Microsoft xCloud which is running of course now they don't have the browser support up running yet they are coming out this year for it so it'll be interesting when that comes out and I'll probably do a video on that too so um, now the other advantage with Stadia that you're gonna have now I'm getting trying to say I'm trying to go pros and cons here um, is with Stadia there is a free edition. So, say you do buy the premium edition, you play it, you do end up buying a couple of games, but you don't want to keep paying for the premium edition. You know, don't care about the free games um, that are included with that. Well, you can keep playing, but you only can play the games that you have purchased. So, that's the key. Um, so, yeah, you can do it that way. Um, but like I said, I'm trying to compare the premium editions, not the free edition. So after, I mean, after playing with, like I said, I've had this one. Um, let me see. I got this one about the middle of December. I've been rocking Luna since the beginning of December. So I've had some um, pretty good time with both of them. Um, I've probably sunk, I don't know, maybe 20 hours into each one. So... I have an idea how well they play and things like that. And honestly, play-wise, they play really close to each other. Um, Luna plays just as good as Stadia. Um, I feel that Luna does a little bit better job. Um, I feel um, that it is a little quicker. Like, I don't feel as lag. Like, like, every once in a while when I'm playing Stadia, it feels like there's a disconnect for just a brief period of time. But then it comes back and it plays fine. Where I fire Luna, I've never, I've never really had that issue. But that's, of course, always dependent on your internet connection. So, well, I'm here to really just give you the information that I have and my experiences. It is always up to you to decide what you want to do. My personal opinion, I think Luna is a little bit better option um, in the long run. As long as they keep adding more to the library and things like that, I think it'll be a better service. I'm saying Stadia has definitely come a long way since its horrible, horrible launch it had last year. Um, but it still, it still feels like it's a beta. Where Luna is definitely it calls itself a beta, I still feel Stadia feels like a beta. Where I just don't... I, I, but like I said, I was a little burned about when that first came out, but that's a different story. So, Well, I hope I gave you some good information so you can make an informed decision about what you want to do here. So, I want to thank everyone who stopped out and watched the video. Uh, I want to remind you that I stream every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday on our YouTube and Facebook page. I On Tuesdays is VR Day. Wednesdays is Switch Night. Thursdays is... Um, no, I don't stream on Thursday. <laughs> I was thinking Big Bang Theory for some reason. Uh, Fridays is Fortnite Friday. And then Saturday is anything goes Saturday. So you don't know what's going to happen on Saturday. We just play whatever we feel like on that day. So I uh, hope you do enjoy the video. Uh, please leave a like if you um, enjoyed the video. And also, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content like this, please do subscribe. And of course, I am Lemon76 of Wonder Day Gaming. Thank you for joining me for this video. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And also, as always, peace.